Well, hello everybody. I hope you've had a good weekend and Tuesday already. Doesn't the what doesn't time fly? Well, today um, and my reading is taken from John chapter six, beginning to read at verse twenty-six. Jesus answered, "I tell you the truth. You're looking for me not because you saw miraculous signs, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill." Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. On him, God the Father has placed his seal of approval. How do you start your day? I tend to wake up early in the morning, just as it's getting light. The first thing I do whilst lying in bed is drink my cup of tea and then reach out for my Bible and my daily prayer book. Because it's got readings in of Psalms and sometimes it's a Gospel reading, sometimes it's a letter, sometimes it's the Old Testament. I find myself wanting to know what the psalm and the reading of the day will be. You see, I'm excited and can't wait to do it. Why? Because it's like waiting for the next instalment when you're reading a really good book. It's a bit like a cliffhanger and it's always exciting and surprising and different. I read it out loud as it stops other thoughts wandering in to distract me. In fact, it's a real feast of pure delight as I found out what my friend Jesus is saying to me and asking him to guide me through what is usually an exciting day full of challenge and surprise. After my sh shower and walk, I return to a well-earned hearty breakfast before embarking on the business of the day. Sunday's different because I like to listen to the Radio 4 service. Then I look at our service before I zoom in for coffee and catch up with our lovely church family. If I remember, I try to listen to songs of praise like many of you. But I'm afraid to admit that some standards have slipped over the Covid months. My daily walks have not been consistent. As I developed hay fever, then it was cold and wet first thing in the morning, so my physical fitness started to deteriorate. When I felt a bit fed up of lockdown, I indulged in Toblerone, wine and a plethora of other carbohydrates that never really satisfied me and my trousers suddenly became tight. It was a wake-up call. I began lockdown like many of you, I expect, with new routines and good intentions. But it's gone on too long and I've allowed myself to slip into bad habits. It's no excuse, I know. But before I knew it, I was unfit and in danger of having a very unhealthy body. Now, eating the right food, I'm fitter, resulting in a physical body that is healthy and an improved, healthy mental state as well. So what about my spiritual state? Well, I did a check on this and it was a, a, a lot better, actually, than my physical state. <laughs> well, what had I done to keep this in shape? I didn't often let my quiet time be shortened. And early on I discovered that if I didn't get the hearty, healthy, spiritual food my body craved for, then the days didn't go as well and I would feel alone and miserable. Do you crave Jesus like you do your favourite food or your favourite exercise? If not, you need, you need to, in order to be spiritually fit and then you'll be energised. How can this be achieved? We 
all need to be totally immersed in the scriptures. We cannot afford to snack on spiritual food or we'll become malnourished. What do I mean by that? Well, even being fully immersed in the worship on a Sunday morning and partaking of Jesus in the bread and wine that sustains our life is good, but it's not enough. It's only a spiritual snack, not a feast, and we must not be spiritually malnourished. To be spiritually nourished, we need to be fed with spiritual food, that is, hearing the word of God as we read it, hearing Jesus prompting us to do something, and by allowing God to speak to us through the silence of the everyday, and not just once a week. We need Jesus, our friend, guide and brother with us all the time, guiding us through the minefield of life, being part of our whole being and consequently keeping us safe. Only when we have a firm foundation in Jesus can we face the shake-ups that come when we face the traumas of life. Seriously though, life is far more satisfying than our physical appetite. We have to satisfy our spiritual appetite as well and regularly if we are going to stay healthy and strong in body, mind and spirit. In the short reading today, Jesus said to the crowd who had followed him around the lake, you're looking for me not because you saw miraculous signs, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. When we have both physical and spiritual food daily, then we begin to discover God's purpose in our lives. It is not to acquire physical wealth and riches, as we shan't need that in the next life. There are no pockets in shrouds, you know. No, we must acquire spiritual wealth as we take this into the next stage of our life. This is what we have to share with our family, friends, neighbours and all who the Holy Spirit brings to us. You see, we are Jesus Christ's disciples. Our love and duty is to be his mouthpiece. We are to allow the Holy Spirit to speak through us to a broken world. COVID-19 has made me rethink my life. I've had a spiritual deep clean which has caused me to rethink my priorities. The result has been amazing, giving me a new spiritual energy because I spent quality time with God. I thank God now for my tight trousers, as it reminded me I'd allowed important things to slip. Do you need to change your priorities? Do you need a spiritual deep clean? You don't need to clean it like bottoming the whole house. Just like my cleaner's done today. She hasn't been, you know, since the beginning of uh, lockdown. But just do a little bit well. And soon the whole of you will be clean. You know, you can do it. It really is possible. And you'll feel much better in yourself. And you'll be energised. And have a peace that, well, it just passes all understanding. So have a go. Start cleaning. Amen. Well, have a lovely week this week. It's going to be very hot. It's already started today. And, uh, you know, it'll be great. Enjoy yourself, but keep safe. Remember, keep safe. <laughs> well, bye-bye. God bless and see you all next week.